Donald Trump now has a chance to recast the story of his presidency. Just as he did on election night in 2016, the president has won a victory over the conventional wisdom of his critics, this time after special counsel Robert Mueller found there was no evidence that Trump had conspired with a hostile foreign nation Russia to win power. The finding, delivered in a summary of the Mueller report by Attorney General William Barr, means Trump can finally try to move on from an intrigue that strangled his presidency from the start. The report offered personal vindication to Trump and a powerful new political weapon to fire at his critics in the Democratic Party and the media at the start of his re-election campaign. But the Democratic victory in November's midterm elections will guarantee that the report is not the final word, as it might have been if the Republicans still had a monopoly on power in Washington. Democratic leaders are already demanding the full release of the report and are challenging Barr's interpretation of Mueller's findings. Though Barr's summary suggests that Mueller's report is nuanced and does not completely exonerate the president on obstruction, the political symbolism is undeniable. The findings clearly lack the kind of bombshell that could have shifted lukewarm public sentiment about a potential impeachment process and will therefore have a profound impact on his presidency. Trump's critics will feel that the special counsel has handed the president a huge political gift. And it is. But another interpretation of the report is that if the president is not guilty of the crime he was accused of committing, the special counsel's verdict would amount to Trump getting his rightful due after a legal process. Partisanship aside, Mueller's conclusion ought to come as a moment of huge national relief. An opposite assessment would have meant that the current president cheated with a hostile foreign power to subvert U.S. democracy. So the nation has likely escaped a long political nightmare that would have tested the constitutional system and worsened the current acrimony in politics, which sometimes feels like it is tearing the country apart. The adamant clarity of Trump's no-collusion message, delivered almost daily in person and on Twitter in the last two years makes the political impact of Mueller's findings even more potent for the president. One big question now is how Trump will react. Will he seize the chance to reset his presidency, drop the inflammatory rhetoric that helped lose voters in crucial suburban swing districts in the midterm elections and try to broaden his support? It seems more likely that Trump, freed from the shadow of the Russia scandal, will seek vengeance on those who targeted him. Fierce attacks on the journalism, outlets that covered the Mueller investigation are already escalating among Trump aides and sympathetic media personalities. One Trump advisor who speaks to the president regularly told CNN's Jim Acosta that Trump could be expected to slam and shame the media. In his initial reaction to Barr's letter to Congress summarizing Mueller's conclusions, Trump said it was a shame he had to endure an illegal takedown that failed. Then he seemed to suggest that his victory lap could soon turn to retribution, even into an attempt to go after the Obama administration that was in power when the FBI first became concerned with Russian election meddling. Hopefully somebody is going to be looking at the other side. Complete exoneration, no collusion, Trump said. But while Trump has won the initial battle over the report, the Washington warfare over its implications is only just beginning. Democrats in Congress are already demanding full publication of the report and promise to pick up the pace of their investigations now Mueller has left the stage. The next political showdown is already centering on Barr's decision-making. Trump picked Barr knowing that he had produced a memo arguing that Mueller's obstruction investigation was fatally misconceived. Dot it was Barr, along with Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, not Mueller, who decided that despite what appears to be some evidence of obstruction in the report, it was not sufficiently strong to lead to a slam-dunk case. The decision is likely to earn both men a trip up to Capitol Hill to testify before Democrats who are deeply suspicious of Barr's decision-making.